Hi guys, it's Jennifer and I'm here today with Brian Rawson, my ex-husband. And I am going to interview him about his dating life um, and his dating, what he thinks of dating because we have now, it's been like four years. Four years. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four years since we, he moved out. So um, we have both obviously tried to date or dated online and so I was with him recently and we started talking about it and actually we kind of talk about it a lot how painful so. yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's a good topic it's a... so um i asked him if he would be nice enough to come and let me kind of interview him about what it's like for a guy and dating in in your 40s in 2000 and what year are we 2019 gee many christmas okay so without further ado let's get to it so what sites are you on but, um, you know, dating on. The free one, so the Tinder one. <laughs> and Bumble. Okay. Just Tinder and Bumble? I think yeah, there's correct. plenty of fish and OkCupid are free. I haven't ever tried plenty of fish okay. and, or OkCupid. Okay. Well, it just... Evil. So um, you just chose those because they were free? Yeah, just because those are the ones I knew about and okay. you know, a lot of people talk about. So okay. That's why so I, I think plenty those. of... And, and I don't want to get too overwhelmed. So okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I, uh, you, you I need... don't it, because it's a lot yes. going through things. It's uh, it can get overwhelming, especially if you start getting multiple conversations going. Yes. Um, this sounds stupid, but it's it gets confusing because so it's you like had to say the wrong thing to the wrong sometimes, girl. Sometimes, yes. Oh wow. Sometimes okay. where it's like you one girl will have notes. three kids, another one have one kid, and I'll, you know, and I'll. You don't make go a back comment. They'll be like, mm -hmm. "Oh, sometimes." But like I said, <laughs> after a while and conversing a little bit, it's kind okay. of a lot of work. It can okay. be a lot of work. So, so what things went on, would you like about online dating? Um, I like that you're starting off on a on a platform that is, um, you know, the person likes you. You mm -hmm. know, they at least like your pictures. Well, no, but but if you haven't met them yet, or if you haven't. Oh, so once you've matched, correct, you're correct. Okay, okay. So to, I'm talking about to compare and contrast okay. it to like the bar scene. Um, you go up to somebody at bar, and mm -hmm. you don't know if um, you're their type. You don't know if they right. like you at all, or if they're even single, or if they're even single, if they're right. even looking. Maybe right. they're there waiting for their right. husband or boyfriend. So, right. um, so online dating, speak. it's. Uh, it eliminates that. So you know that at least the person likes how you look, that they're right. interested in you, and they potentially want to go on a date with you. So, so that's, that's you're already starting off in an okay. easier. Okay. So um, what when you are looking when you're online and you're swiping through profiles, what's making you pick a a, a profile over another profile? Like what are the things that you really like want to see and that you like and that makes you swipe the profile or the pictures? Well, the whole thing, like the whole. So, so you, well, let's start with the pictures then. Let's yeah, oversimplify it. The, start with the pictures. The first thing is that, of course, the pictures. I want to be able to see a good, clear photo of their face in different um, settings, different, yeah, so that lighting. I can. It's not just one picture over and over again. Or they've got sunglasses on, or you can't really see their face. Right. And I'd like to see their body. So I'd right. like to see them near other people. So Bumble's nice because it says the height there. And sometimes people do it in the Tinder uh, profile, but I can kind of get an idea. There have been a couple people that I've I've seen and I'll think, oh, they, they seem like they're smaller, because I'm small. Um, and then I'll read their profile and they're like 5'11 or something. I'm like, oh, wow, that's not going to work. So would you not be comfortable? I mean, how, how tall are you? 5'7"? Five, 5'7". Seven? Five, seven, okay. Yeah. How, would you not, and I'm like 5'4", five, 5'3 five, and a half. Would you not be comfortable dating a woman taller than you? Um, I don't think I would be uncomfortable. I think it would be fine with me. But I've seen so many profiles where they're like, please be taller than six right. foot. Please, be. I mean, I see it from a guy's perspective and from a short guy's perspective. I see that a lot. You are, yeah, you're hesitant because of that. Yeah. So so I, as a woman, I'm, I'm small, I know. But I think that's like us men putting like, I will only date you if you weigh this much. Or I will only date you if you have blonde hair and blue eyes, because it's what you were born with. And so, to well, in my in mine, I do have. I prefer huge boobs. So. <laughs> no, just, right. just joking. Well, good. No, I'm then you sh if you do, then you, I the women are saying I don't have that because well, then you missed out with me. Well, yeah, so sorry <laughs> about that. So. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't really matter. It, that's the continuation of me describing what I'm looking for. Right. So besides, huge boobs. Yeah, but besides huge boobs, huge boobs. Um, what else do you want? Pictures of them, okay. if possible. 
it's, it's going in the wrong direction. So, um, <laughs> but of course, the I need to be attracted to what they look like, right? Um, and I want to see them in different scenarios, like maybe uh, uh, out at the beach or you know a night on the town. Okay. So not just always like doing up. Um, oh, to, so you that, want to see more nice. in natural nice. settings? Yeah, so I want to see see, that they, see them because they're not hideous without makeup. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, and then, if I like their their face, um, then I read the bio. Got it. Then okay. to kind of skim through that to see if there's anything like, I'm five foot eleven or I'm four foot three, but you need to be seven foot tall, right, you know, that right. sort of thing. So, um, um, so when you read a, so are there any things that turn you off in photos? Like any photos that you're like. Um, lots of sunglasses. I cannot because yeah, I can't see what they look right. like at all. It happens in men's for us. Um, and I can't really stand super close up. So one picture of a super close up of their face is fine, but I want to see more of what they so look like. So you want to like see their body because I see so many that are like, like you know these perfect like they hold the camera up here and it's really close to them and there's five of those pictures and Got it's like it. I'm not hundred percent sure no idea what, their body looks like. what you look like or you know. Okay, so. Um, I don't want to, I want, I'm going to get there, but yeah. okay. So are there, what, so, um, anything else in photos that like Snapchat filters, a lot of guys mentioned. Oh, I hate Snapchat filters. Okay. That is a matter of fact, that's almost, there's some things that I just swipe okay, left so on. Okay. So what do you swipe left on? If they just have one picture. Okay. Cause I'm not going to be able to tell right. what they're looking like. Um, if they have a Snapchat filter. Okay. So if they, if I like the first picture I see is like a Snapchat filter or many of their pictures are Snapchat filters, that's a swipe left because okay. I have no clue what right. you look like. Agreed. Um, and then of course, it's kind of cringy whenever they like take pictures of just like their body or something. Mm. Like they'll just have pictures of their legs or they'll uh -huh. have pictures of like some, will take pictures of, do that? I don't, some, I do will, not do that. some will take I pictures can. of oh. like their, no. like them doing a yoga pose and stuff, which uh -huh. is great, which I like to see that they're athletic or active, right. but that's all I'm getting from it. I'm not thinking, wow, that's an amazing yoga pose and I really want to date you. <laughs> so it's uh, Okay. I think that there could be like a sexual, like, so I think some of the, like, well, my interpretation of the yoga thing is that it's, you're flexible or whatever. And so guys might like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So, um, okay. So is there anything in now then, then when you get down to the profile, what do you look for in that? And like, what do you, what attracts you in the profiles or dozens? I'm kind of looking for things that are similar to my um, little quirks about the personality that may be similar to mine. You know, okay. like they like dive bars or their craft beer or um, they like to go camping or hiking. Wow, I'm these, looking for these are all exact opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like camping. Divorce. I know. I don't like camping. I, I mean, dive bars I can do, but yeah, like those are yeah. all well, things you're describing. I'm just throwing like out examples. Those, those happen to be... Fine. Those happen to be in my profile, right. so okay. uh, that's so I'm so using as an example. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anything else? Um, that's about Is it. Is there anything you don't want to see in profiles? Well, the you have to be taller than six foot right, tall. Right, right. Um, well, I don't like it when somebody is. I don't know how to describe this, but like they're too prescriptive. They, they, they'll do something like me and then cute, amazing, funny, and you chivalrous. And you know, it's like they're like listing out like, like it's a grocery list of like okay. what you have and, right. and what you're, I'm usually like, oh, that's cheesy. Guys cheesy. do that too. Cheesy. Okay. So that's probably going to be like the wrap of video one.